What's going on you guys? TBR here back yet again with another King of Fighters All-Star video and in today's video I have my work cut out for me because we have a hefty update notice to go over featuring all of the Guilty Gear collaboration information. There is a lot to unpack here so we're just going to jump into it but before we do all that make sure if you guys haven't already done so you smash that like button and subscribe if you're new here and let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is of course going to be the typings for the character themselves so as you guys can see we do now have confirmation on the typings for these characters so leading off here we are going to have Dizzy featured as an SS character and being a blue balance type we are going to have Biken as an SS character who is a purple attack type we're going to have May who is going to be one of our free characters as well as being featured on both banners being a blue defensive type we're going to have Eno being a green attack type and Romlethal will be a yellow defensive type as far as as the breakdown for the banners, we are going to, as I mentioned, see May featured on both banners as well as being a free character for logging in during the event period. And then Biken will be on one banner along with Eno, which will be the Volume 1 banner. And then on the second banner, we are going to see Dizzy, Romlethal, and May. So that is going to be your breakdown for your banners this time around. We're going to have one SS character respectively on there. And unfortunately, Dizzy and Biken will be the SS character characters this time around during the collaboration however if you guys want my overall thoughts when it comes to the trailers because i know i'm not going to have a chance to cut a reaction to the rest of these because they went up over the weekend and i always take sundays off so i won't have a chance to react but i'll give you guys my quick thoughts here basically the character i'm most impressed with right off the bat just from a knee-jerk reaction standpoint with the trailers is going to be rom and dizzy when it comes to pve and the rest of these characters Characters like Biken, I definitely think looks really good for PvP, but not necessarily for PvE. Eno looks like she's going to be a little bit rough in my opinion, but we'll have to wait and see with all of these characters when it comes to their overall kits. And of course, I've already talked at length about what I think of May and Saul. But speaking of Saul, there's Saul bad guy right there. He is going to be a red balance type and an SS fighter. So again, he will be a free character and he is going to be an SS fighter. So that's pretty much what we have to look forward to when it comes to the actual characters themselves you guys not much to talk about there when it comes to anything else here when it comes to the typings of course we could get into all that all day long but we're just going to wait and talk about that tomorrow when we break down the kits and the builds so next up here the next thing i want to talk about is we are going to be seeing the return of the craft menu for these special signature memories so it looks like just like any other time with these collaborations we are going to be able to craft up to two generic memories memories and it is going to probably require us to use up to three of any of the memories for these Guilty Gear characters. Unfortunately, they do not mention anything in here whatsoever in any of these notices about whether or not we are going to be able to get a generic memory for free from anything. However, we don't have all the information yet, so I am going to reserve judgment on that, but this is returning for better or for worse. Now moving on from that, we do have the new battle card info, and there's a little bit of confusing information in here that I'm going to briefly touch on, but I'm not going to try and reach to any conclusions or try to elaborate too much on some of this, because again, with all of the rough translations that Netmarble has been known for for the, all the years they've done these updates and these notices, I'm not going to try and read between the lines on what they're trying to convey to us here, but I'll get to that when we get there. So these are going to be the battle card arts, we've already largely seen these, and we have seen the different effects for these as well as far as what they look like in animation so not much to talk about there now there is this line right here where it says the guilty gear collab fighter special cards are categorized into three attack skill and critical and have special effects that are applied so with that basically what i'm assuming is each one of these battle cards like what we have seen with a lot of these 3pg battle cards in the past are going to have different effects whenever you use them and there are going to be different ones based on a attack skill and critical i don't necessarily think that there's anything further from that 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 means that's probably what they're trying to go for as far as what they're trying to convey there but again i know that that has been confusing to a lot of people including myself none of us are quite sure exactly what that means but i would assume that that is what they are going for you'll actually see that in parentheses after the name of the actual card on the card art itself it says attack in parentheses on all of these so i'm assuming that there's going to be an attack buff 
in correlation with the effect, just like what we've seen with a lot of these battle cards. But again, time will tell, we'll just have to wait and see, but that would be my assumption. So as you guys will see there, those are going to be the effect types. You're going to get attack plus 2%. You're going to get, with your skills, your active skill damage increased by 4.5%. And with your critical, you're going to see a 6% increase to your crit damage. So again, we're not really sure what's going on with these. Again, time will tell. We'll just have to wait and see. Now, when it comes to the option cards, these are going to be the option cards this time around for the collaboration. So the art overall is looking fantastic as always. We do not have any confirmation on effects for any of this stuff. So again, we're just going to have to wait and see what that brings along with the update. And then next up here, this is going to be the new set. Again, the art is incredible. So as you guys can see there, we got Mei and Lolly Chang, who apparently have become best friends during this collaboration. But this is looking like a fantastic set as far as the art is concerned. Hopefully the overall effects reflect the art because the art is top-notch, but good stuff overall, you guys. So next up here, we are going to have several different cards that are going to be available from different events. And we'll of course be talking about those events more when we get there, but as you guys can see, Saul Bad Guys 3PG Finisher will be available for free, and we will have two option cards available as well that will be basic 5-star option cards, and then we are also going to have a basic 5-star set as well that will be available, so we're not going to be for want for cards with this collaboration. Again, you guys, we have no confirmation on any of the effects of any of these cards, but that is what we are going to have available to us as far as freebies are concerned so there's going to be quite a bit coming up with this event now as you guys can see here it does go ahead and summarize the overall banner structure this is something we've already talked about so as you guys can see this will be your banner breakdown for me I am definitely going to be going in pretty hard on the volume 2 however volume 1 as much as I want biken I am pretty on the fence right now I'm gonna wait and see what the kits look like but if I only had to pull on one banner right now for me personally I think volume 2 is going to be the way to go so another thing that we do see here is we are going to see more elaboration on what we're going to get as far as the effects with these cards so as you guys can see here in parentheses it is going to mention attack skill and critical on each one of these cards so I get the feeling you guys that when it comes to this red line where they're talking about these effects that these new 3 PG finishers are going to have a bunch of different effects with them time will tell and again I don't have any confirmation but they do mention it specifically specifically several times so I get the feeling that this is going to be somewhat of a new gimmick or at least in addition to an old gimmick for this collaboration but I'm pretty excited to see what all of this means once we get around to getting these characters tomorrow so that's pretty much what we know about the characters and all of that as far as the cards and as far as that's concerned not much there that is going to be anything that we wouldn't have come to expect although there are going to be quite a few cards with this collaboration as we've outlined so now we're going to talk about the imprint stones and the enhancement hammers so of course there are going to be exclusive imprint stones and enhancement hammers for this event just like any collaboration in the past so you guys will see here that they do confirm that now there's actually going to be a little bit of a different way that we are going to be able to get these imprint stones this time around from the looks of it however from the sounds of what they've got outlined here it isn't going to be anything to where not many people are going to have issues getting these I do get the feeling that this is going Going to be fairly inclusive for everybody when it comes to this but time will tell next is where we get into the events now there's going to be a separate notice where there's going to be a lot more detail on these events so I'm gonna kind of rapid fire go through these and then we'll get into these in more detail as we go through the video but we are going to have a rush dungeon which is called error code y2k we're going to have a challenge dungeon called gear project we're going to have a new login event of which we'll talk in more detail momentarily as well we're going to have a carnival event we're going to have that guild raid event boss that we had talked about so all of this information from that bleeding cool article the other day that we theorized was going to be a press release from that marble has come to fruition so it sounds like everything that was in there was correct so we are going to be getting for the first time during a collaboration an exclusive guild raid boss in the form of biken there will be more additional information on that momentarily as well we're going to have a guilty gear themed battle pass which is really cool and then we are going to have 
a welcome comeback event battle pass as well. And then we are also going to have plenty of different events in here, including our event crafting menu, our event codex, and so on and so forth. But then we also are going to have an exclusive event summon banner, which we have not seen with a collaboration before. We have seen these types of exclusive event summons in the past. Recently, we had that one where we had to pick up shards, and it seems like this is going to be very similar, only instead of shards we are going to need to pick up event coins and again they do go into more information on this as well as you guys can see here it is going to be outlined very similarly to what we saw with the marie rose event where we're going to have these different events that we need to do in these different missions we're going to be able to pick up coins and then we can parlay those coins into this banner now, from what I've heard, when we go to the pity on this, instead of us getting some sort of generic memory or whatever the case may be at the end for the mileage, instead we are going to be getting a memory for Saul Bad Guy. That is what I've heard. I don't see any necessary confirmation in here at all. Yeah, I don't see any confirmation in here, but from the sounds of it, Saul Bad Guy's memory will be the final mileage reward for this. So take that part maybe with a grain of salt. I'm sure that maybe there is some sort of official confirmation out there because I've been seeing everybody saying it, but that part I don't necessarily have 100% confirmation on. But from the looks of it, we are going to be able to pick up tokens for multis for the Guilty Gear collaboration. Some single summons. Looks like we're going to be able to get some of the imprint stone boxes, some of the hammers, and and so on and so forth so the prize pool for this looks like it is going to be pretty awesome and if this is anything like the regular marie rose event that we had with the dead or alive collaboration this is likely going to start out very easy and it's going to get you into a false sense of security but then eventually you are going to have a lot of different problems as far as collecting these coins so you know at least we don't have some sort of random board like with the marie rose event the only similarity here is of course going to be collecting these coins so that we can go ahead and parlay those into a banner instead of some random board but at the same time this is going to basically come down to what the drop rates are and what the prize pool is as far as how good this is but from the sounds of it it is going to be pretty awesome now next up here we're going to have new packages i'm not going to get into these here because we'll talk about these in tomorrow's video but largely these look like what we've come to expect for these collaboration boxes when it comes to these packages so there's not a whole lot here i'm going to get into today again We'll just talk about all this tomorrow. Now, next up here, we have some new content improvements. I'm going to briefly summarize this by letting you guys know that the different Advent Dungeons, it sounds like we are now going to have them officially available all the time. So these different Advent bosses that would usually rotate are now going to be available at all times, which is something that is a bit overdue in my opinion. These things are largely just something to keep you busy and haven't really been all that important for a while. So now we are going to be able to pick these up which should help people who are having issues picking up some of these different souls for building up their characters, especially people who are going to be on a budget and don't necessarily have a whole lot of resources at their disposal. Now they don't have to wait for whatever corresponding color it is that they need these souls for to rotate through. Now they'll be able to go in and grind them themselves. So not too shabby. This is actually pretty nice. And then down here, it's just telling us about Dymo's base and all this other stuff, but largely this is just about new seasons, so we don't have to talk about that. Now here we have some system improvements. There wasn't anything in here that was a major spoiler or anything we needed to talk too much about, except for this additional notice right here. So as you guys can see, the mystery boxes that we've been grinding from the World Drop event will be switched to Guilty Gear Collab Summon Ticket Mystery Boxes after the update. Right now, you guys, you still have the ability to grind these things. Now we have confirmation on what's in those mystery boxes. Make sure that you guys are getting as many of these as humanly possible if this collaboration is something you're interested in and even if it isn't i would still argue you want to do this because free memories and free characters are free memories and free characters and you can't sneeze at that but pretty much you guys that is what we're seeing here i don't really have anything else in this notice we need to talk about this is already going to be a long video because there's just so much in this update but there is going to be one more thing that we do need to talk about as far as these update notices and for those of you who are wondering, yes, I know that the trailers for all the characters are now available. However, I will not be reacting to all of these retroactively since we will be having these characters live tomorrow. So I'm just going to go ahead and worry about taking care of 
have covering the characters in tomorrow's video. Otherwise, today's video is going to be obnoxiously long. So let's go ahead now and talk about this next tab. And this is going to be the in-game event notice here. And this is going to give us more information on all these different events. So let's go ahead and get into it. So as you guys can see, we are going to have the error code Y2K Rush Dungeon event, which will be structurally the same as what we've come to expect from any of these Rush Dungeon events. So basically, you are going to have three stages. You're going to be able to pick from your favorite Guilty Gear characters and cards, and if you pick those, you will get extra drops. So in general, not much to talk about here. However, I would mention that you guys are definitely going to want to grind this thing, especially considering the fact that typically, if history repeats itself with all of these collaborations, this is going to be where you're going to be able to pick up some of those free cards that we've already mentioned. So good stuff overall, but just nothing that is going to be too new or too surprising. Now as far as things that are new and are of a welcome surprise, this is going to be the rerun or at least a new tower. So we did see that tower implemented with the Dead or Alive 6 collaboration, which was a huge hit. All of us really liked that thing from the mo for the most part, so it looks like we are going to be seeing that return just recently skinned with Guilty Gear. So as you guys can see here, this is going to be the tower here, and this is going to look like it is reflecting each of the different banners this time around. So with this one, we see May, Dizzy, and Romlethal, who are of course featured on the Volume 2 banner. So it looks like that this is going to be pretty much the exact same structure as what we got with the Dead or Alive 6 one. So here's to hoping that the overall rewards for this are just as good, if not better. But I know everybody was really hoping to see the tower system return turn and luckily that has been done here so good good stuff you guys this is something that I was really hoping for but in general it looks like from what we can tell here that this is going to be largely the same as what we saw with that original tower for Dead or Alive 6. Next up here, we have the login event. So as you guys can see here, we are going to be getting plenty of different items for the login event here. And it looks like some of this stuff is actually going to be pretty darn good, including some imprint stone boxes. So in general, you guys, this is also going to contain some of those coins that we need for that banner where we will be able to pull and potentially get Saul bad guys memories. And in general, this is looking like it is definitely going to be far better than some of the login events that we've had previously, or at least recently, so good stuff nonetheless. Now next up here, we are going to see that the special relay gift boxes are listed here. So it says every time you open a gift box, it will include the next available gift box, which has its own opening date. You will then be able to open the next gift box on the day it is available for opening. So it looks like we are just going to be opening a bunch of boxes. So <laughs> as you guys can see here, these boxes are going to be available. We have some pretty long opening dates on these things, so in general, I'm not really sure what they've got planned for this, and nor do I think that they'd really go into much of any detail, so we'll just have to wait and see and a further notice, or when this stuff is implemented, what is going on with that. I'm not going to sit here and theorize too much on what's going on there. So next up here, we have the carnival event. So as you guys can see, this is going to be a new carnival. So in general, it looks like we are going to be able to pick up some pretty useful items here. However, I I am not seeing anything for the final reward that is all that enticing, although the repeat reward is going to be more coins for that banner that we've already mentioned. So in general, it looks like it definitely will be worth doing, but at the end of the day, it is very disappointing that we aren't seeing better rewards on here, i.e. some sort of generic memory like an SS generic memory, but I guess at the end of the day, beggars can't be choosers. It's just unfortunate to see that Netmarble is still so stingy with these generic memories. So next up here, let's go ahead and take a look at the Biken Guild Raid Boss event. Now, this is the first time we have ever had a special Guild Raid Boss for a collaboration. The last time we saw a special Guild Raid Boss featured was with the Lady Chang Guild Raid Boss, if my memory serves. But as you guys can see here, this is going to be the Biken Boss for Guild Raid. We're going to be able to enter this up to twice a day with two key different keys, and we are only going to be able to use Guilty Gear collab fighters. It looks like Biken's break gauge will decrease 
increase depending on the amount of hits received, just like any other boss, and if hit by attacks that damage over time, then the break gauge will decrease faster. This could just be a tip from Netmarble on how to break gauge when it comes to Guild Raid, or there could be some sort of new mechanic with this where you will want to have dots specifically in general in order to break the gauge even quicker, and you therefore might not want to bring in a character that doesn't have a dot. Who knows? They are not going to be giving us too many details here, but overall it just sounds like what we've come to expect with any of these Guild Raid bosses. But it says here, as far as the reward info, depending on the accumulated damage done to Biken under the time limit, you can receive the Guilty Gear Guild Raid Mystery Box. My assumption would be that this is going to feature different imprint stones, but time will tell. Next up here, we are going to get into the battle passes, and I'm not going to get too much into the weeds when it comes to these, but as you guys can see here, there are going to be various battle passes available that are going to be themed around Guilty Gear. They have shown in the past their willingness to theme these passes around collaborations, and again, I say unto you, Netmarble, why not just theme every one of these passes around these events when you drop them? But hey, I digress. I've already made that statement before, and I'm not going to get into it again. We'll talk about these passes in depth tomorrow, but as it sits right now, these are actually looking pretty decent for the most part, but I'm going to wait till they're actually implemented, and then we'll get into full details there. And then we're also going to have a, another separate battle pass that is going to be for a welcome or comeback event. So this is going to seemingly be for people who have been gone for a while and are just getting back into the game. However, I am not sure if this is just going to be wildly available for everybody. However, it does seem as though it is only going to be for people who have not logged in in a while, but we'll have to wait and see. As you guys can see here, this is going to be some of what's available there. Going to be a lot of different rubies and tokens and so on here. But again, I'm just going to wait and see what's going on with this. It looks like there's also going to be a pass XP mission here, a super mission as it were. So we haven't seen a super mission in a while, but this might only be available to players of returning or new players or what have you. So again, I'll have to wait and see how they implement that tomorrow. But I do get the feeling that that's what they're doing there. Now, we have this special reward unlock. Now here it says special reward is divided into special reward one and special reward two. So these are pretty much going to be what you're seeing with this new pass here for returning players. But this is also going to have a lot of different items here. And again, we'll talk more in depth about it tomorrow if it is something that's wildly available. Otherwise, it's something I can come back to later on. Now we have the a collaboration event craft menu. So we are going to be able to craft some stuff here. So it says, during the event, you can use the imprint stone fragments obtained from the Guilty Gear Rush dungeon and the bike and guild raid to craft event crafting moon and star imprint mystery boxes. So from what I can tell here, you guys, with this crafting, basically we're going to have to obtain these different items to craft these, but it looks like this is going to be in addition to the different methods that we already have for crafting the different star and moon imprint stones. So it looks like these boxes are going to be separated into into volume boxes, which is probably just going to have a shallower pool the further up the chain you go, so you have a better chance at getting something that you actually want. I don't see Guilty Gear branded anywhere on the boxes themselves, so these are probably just going to be the same stones that are currently available and just giving us an extra method at making them, because again, we've talked about this before, these types of stones are extremely hard to come by, so this might just be a bonus with this event. I don't think we're going to be getting Guilty Gear exclusive stones for the characters themselves as far as the Star and the Moon stones are concerned. It doesn't appear as if that's the case here. However, it could be something that once it goes live, that all changes. But I don't see any necessarily any place in here where it reflects that at all. It looks like really the only thing is just going to be that this is just going to be a bonus way of getting these made. So as you guys can see, the fragments are going to be available as far as the yellow imprint print stone fragments. Those are going to be available from the Rush Dungeon, and then the purple ones will be available from the Biken Guild Raid event boss. So that's what we're looking at there. 
Now we do have a codex here. This is going to be pretty interesting. I don't recall us having this before, but it looks like we are going to be able to get bonus items for the event just from doing things during the collaboration. So it looks like we're going to have some sort of mileage here for each one of the characters. And as we build them up, we are going to be able to get different items as we build them. This is also going to be where we pick up the stones for awakening these characters. As you can see here with Saul Bad Guy, it says when you awaken the fighter, you're going to get an imprint stone for the circle imprint stone and so on and so forth so this is basically just a revamped and better looking way of doing these as far as getting these different items for awakening these characters during these events so i really like this they've gone all out with this update and i really like a lot of these things in here it looks very professional as far as a presentation goes when it comes to this collaboration and you can tell that they put a ton of effort into this so i'm really really liking what they did here overall outside of seeing a you know, blatant and obvious way of getting a generic memory, which they haven't shown us. Everything else about this looks amazing. So there could be generic memories in our future, though. Keep that in mind, you guys. They didn't go into all the details with all this stuff. And there's going to be a lot of different ways they could do it if they wanted to. So we're just going to wait and see. Now, next up here, we are going to have the Guilty Gear event summons. So as you guys can see, we've already talked about this. This is going to be where you get Saul Bad Guy's memory, it seems like, for going to the pity. And you are going to have a bunch of different items that are going to be worth getting there. We've already talked about how to get the coins. There's going to be various methods, but the best one is going to be from the special event mission board here. Again, it is going to be laid out similarly to how we got coins for rolling on that board when it came to a Marie Rose, if I remember correctly. So this is kind of a rehash of that, but reworked and kind of mixed with that banner that we had for that limited time when it came to getting shards to pull on for memories in the past, which was a really really cool event so they've taken one event that wasn't that great mixed it with a great one and hopefully they have made something better than what we had previously so next here this is just going to remind us that we are going to be able to play chapter of fight and be able to get rare enhancement hammers and rubies for doing so so a new chapter of fight season brings along with it more prizes not much to talk about there this here is reminding us about dymo's base which we all know about hopefully at this point and that pretty much covers everything in here so man let me take a breath that is a lot of information you guys this is a huge update there's a lot of information in here in general i know a lot of people are probably wondering about my thoughts on the character trailers and again I'm not going to get into all of that in today's video because this is already going to be super long I had planned on doing a reaction video to that but it's just not going to happen with how much information I had to go over this morning with this however to give you guys a quick short and dirty version I am really impressed with what I'm seeing with Romlethal to a lesser extent I'm impressed with what I'm seeing from Dizzy I think Biken looks really good for PvP but not necessarily a pve character eno does nothing for me as far as her animations are concerned and in general right now i am mainly eyeballing the volume 2 banner because romlethal and dizzy look really really solid in my opinion and i would definitely would like to get romlethal as soon as possible because i do get the feeling that for some of these events where i need to use a guilty gear collab character i'm probably going to be using her as my carry mainly because she looks like she's going to be one of the best ones on all all of these banners and she is going to be a non-SS character so I can go ahead and build her up quickly and easily right off the bat no muss no fuss but anyway you guys that is going to do it for the updates you guys let me know in the comment section down below what you think about all this let me know what you're excited about and what you're not excited about but I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow with the next one for the update itself but until next time smash that like button and subscribe and you all take care Peace. Continue.